Today we are at Crew Engineering and Design UTC. We've got a very intimate event today and we've got around 20 young women today for a panel event. So this is the second STEMETS event that Air Products has, has done. We did an event in our Hirschm office um, a few months ago. There was lots of, of students and it was quite a busy event, which was great. Um, a slightly different field today, so we've got less a number of students, but I quite like it um, in the fact that we can give one-to-one one -one time with the panellists and the, the individual students. Oh, I really enjoyed it today. Um, I think the engagement from all of the girls was brilliant. Um, lots of questions, they seemed really keen to understand how we'd all got to this point in our career. Girls need to know that there are other girls and women in STEM and they need to know that we're out there and we're, we, we're here. And there's nothing wrong with being a woman in a STEM role, in fact it's fabulous. Harriet, who was on the panel, really inspired me because she came into it young and she didn't know what she was doing at first, but then she found out the career, what's right for her. Lily from the panel has been really inspiring because she said she had no idea what she wanted to do and then she found STEM and like kind of made her way through it, but then still like incorporated it to her own interests and likes. In general, a lot of what was interesting for me is seeing how people had gone into like uni with one idea of what they wanted to go into and then sort of ended up doing something completely different. It's been a really cool atmosphere because it is an intimate gathering it feels like everyone's really bouncing ideas off each other and they're really getting to know the panellists really intimately so it's been really good. I think it's important for young people to get in front of, of panel events like this because you have a good range of different people so you've got some some people who are just starting out in their career and, and they can relate really closely to them because they're only a year into their career you know either a graduate scheme or something like that and then we've got other people who are a bit more experienced and, and have, have done various different things and I think it shows the flexibility of what a STEM career can give people. During the speed networking session some of the girls were asking me what I had studied, how to get an apprenticeship which was really good to see that they were interested but also what kind of jobs are in the engineering market. Uh, I've never done speed networking before but I really enjoyed it because it like, gave you a real life perspective on things like jobs and what is available. I think role models are really important. Um, my mum's always been a big role model for me because she's always balanced that work and family and she's always worked really hard to be where she is even though she didn't have like, she didn't go to uni or anything so she has like worked up really well. If your passion and your drive and your ambition takes you that way, then, then follow it and believe in it and enjoy it. If it doesn't, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing something completely different.